when something gets into your soul, like this place has got into mine, there's not even a question is that you should be anywhere else. You know, we were talking about when we were hiking today and looking down at the, at the river and the combination of the color of green and red from the trees and the rock and the blue from the sky, the landscape is, has touched me and, you know, made my life more whole, more rich. I've been coming down to southern Utah my whole life, and uh, on this trip I came down with a local guide, Jeff, from Desert Dawn. I think Jeff is a really great guide because he clearly has an intimate relationship with this land here. He spent multiple decades in Escalante guiding and hiking around, and you can tell that he not only enjoys being out here, but he really cares for the place, and I think he really cares about introducing it to other people and imparting some responsibility or some sort of land ethic with people uh, before they leave and knowing that you know you can't just visit this place half-heartedly you sort of have to respect the land and take a, an appreciation for how special it really is. Boulder is a small town it has 225 to 250 people depending on the day and the time of the year. It's a very quiet town it was isolated for the longest time. You know, it wasn't until the 80s that paved roads came into town. And it's one of the most gorgeous roads coming in from either direction. Boulder's a very fun place, partly because it doesn't have many amenities. But what we do have seems to be a notch above what most people expect to find when they come here. And so we have three restaurants, one of which is a food truck. that They're all run by people that love food and they enjoy making food at a pretty high level. And the beauty of Boulder is it's right on the border of the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument and the Dixie National Forest. So you have the opportunity to go to, to multiple ecosystems within a few minutes. I think Grand Staircase is probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. I mean, it's very expansive, it has a number of beautiful canyons, a lot of open space, a lot of trees, water here, you know, there's a lot of falls, the Escalante River kind of flows through the center of it. There's a lot to see and do, but there's not a lot of trails. It's really helpful to have a guide to help you navigate and get to some of these amazing places without getting lost. Oftentimes we get to places that are off the radar. So we have opportunities to explore in solitude as opposed to being with a crowd of people. Pretty amazing rock art. Yeah. Kind of hard to imagine what the world was like. We're gonna go into the Kiva Coffee House. For me, it's become one of the traditions of hiking out here, a great place to stop and enjoy a little treat. It's an amazing view of the Escalante Canyon. Yeah. It's a great place for a cup of coffee. You don't want to go there. There's many roads that people go on and just pull off the road and enjoy a night's sleep. And many of them have spectacular overlooks into amazing canyons. And then the other alternative is if you want to go backpacking, it's wide open. The beauty of the Grand Staircase is that to find the spot that makes you feel happy at that moment. Even though I consider myself a local, having grown up in Utah and spent most of my life here, I really got a lot out of doing a trip with a guide this time. There were just certain things that I wouldn't have been able to know without him, and I feel like it was a really special experience. It's exciting to know that this area is so big and there's so much to explore out there.